Welcome and thank you so much for joining me today. So we are going to be looking at elapsed time. Now elapsed time just means the time something has taken. So it's when we're thinking about how long something takes, the best thing to use is a number line, or we can call it a timeline. So the first thing I would like us to do is think about our starting time. Our starting time is 5.26. Now, I always think about how many minutes to the, the next hour. So I know the next hour is going to be at 6. 6 p.m. I also know that in an hour we have 60 minutes. So 60 take 26, I have jumped 30 four minutes. Then I know I've got um, an, an hour from 6 to 7 p.m. So I've got an, one extra hour that I've jumped and then I look at how many minutes I have left and I have 29 minutes. So then I'm going to be jumping 29 minutes. Um, so next thing that we need to be doing is adding all of adding all of our minutes up and our hours together. So, so far I know I've got 60 minutes. So, 34 plus 29, 34 minutes plus 29 minutes and then I can add those together. So that means I've got 4 plus 9 equals 13, 3 plus 1 plus 2 equals 6, so that's 63 minutes and I know 60 minutes is an hour. So then I've got one hour, two hours and three minutes. Two hours and three minutes. Let's have a go with another question. How long did it take to play a game of cricket? 8.53 a.m. to 10.27 a.m. First thing I'm going to be doing is doing a number line. Or we can say a timeline. I am then breaking it down into smaller chunks. So I know I'm starting at 8.53. How many minutes to the next hour? Well, I know the next hour is at nine o'clock. And that is just adding seven more minutes. I can also go 60, take 53 equals seven. Then I look at, oh, I'm going to the next hour, because that's 10. So I'm adding one hour and it takes me to 10 a.m. Then the next thing I need to think about is how many more minutes um, till 10.27, and that is, is 27 minutes, because I'm already at 10 o'clock. So I'm adding 27 minutes to get to 10.27. So if I, look at, if I look at this now, we know we've got one hour, and we just need to add our minutes together. So I've got 27 minutes, and I'm adding seven minutes. So 27 plus 7, 7 plus 7 equals 14, carry the 1, 2 plus 1 equals 3, so that gives me 1 hour and 34 minutes. So how long did it um, take me to play a game of cricket? 1 hour and 34 minutes. So if you need any extra help, feel free to message me and I'll get back to you with another video.